This is Fox 25 News at 6. You're watching Fox 25 News at 6. His talents did not stop in the operating room. Friends and colleagues remembering beloved doctor shot and killed yesterday inside Brigham and Women's Hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Ockerbloom. And I'm Maria Stefanos. The hospital honoring the life of Dr. Michael Davidson today by lowering its flags to half staff in his honor. He was in the cardiac, he was the cardiac surgeon killed yesterday at the hospital by a gunman, Stephen Passeri of Millbury. All efforts were made to save Davidson's life, but his death was tragically announced late last night. Well, today, Davidson's fellow doctors talked about the man they called brilliant. I really can't imagine a, a, a combination of talent and humanism uh, that will, that any institution will have the opportunity to work uh, in the future. It's, it's, it was just tremendous. You all should be absolutely assured that Michael Davidson was one of the kindest and the best physicians and men that ever walked on this earth. Davidson leaves behind his wife, Terry, who is seven months pregnant. There are three children, nine-year-old Kate, seven-year-old Liv, and two-year-old Graham. Tonight, the tragedy at the Brigham has health care workers raising concerns about the safeguards in place at hospitals to protect staff and patients. At five, we told you about a proposed law that would mandate annual risk assessments of all health care facilities. New at six now, Fox 25's Carrie Cavanaugh joins us live with the other changes one local group is pushing for. Carrie? Uh, the Massachusetts Nurses Association says right now the crime for assaulting health care workers in most cases in the state is a misdemeanor. The union believes it should be a felony. But they say in addition, examining the safety measures at all hospitals will protect workers, patients, and visitors. It's not just a policy that is written on a piece of paper that people can follow, but really safety is a culture. In a culture where the threat against healthcare professionals is a reality. Tuesday's fatal shooting of Dr. Michael Davidson inside the Brigham highlights the need for improved hospital safeguards, says Peg O'Connor with the Massachusetts Nurses Association. The risk assessment is key. O'Connor says for years, MNA has urged the state legislators to make risk assessments of medical facilities the law. Hospitals have a, a duty to provide additional uh, security resources. Healthcare security consultant Tom Smith told us via Skype, hospitals, especially the sprawling campuses of Boston, need multiple layers of protection. It's not all, uh, you know, guards, guns, and cameras. He says other options include limiting the number of entrances, controlled access doors, security cameras, and a way for anyone to report suspicious activity. Had there been a metal detector at the front door, perhaps he would have, um, he would have, they would have found the gun. People who were in and around Brigham and Women's Hospital Tuesday commended staff for their quick action. Hospital administrators say training paid off. They said they were among the first to train for active shooters. This widely used training video was filmed inside the Brigham. I'm not sure that, um, that we could have prevented yesterday. But O'Connor says strategies must be in place to try and prevent it from happening again. I asked the Nurses Association if it supports metal detectors inside hospitals. O'Connor says they would help. I spoke with another security consultant over the phone today who says they aren't always feasible in hospital settings where so many people are constantly flowing in and out. Back to you guys.